And welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Vinny. I'm Dylan. And uh, today we're going to talk about something uh, called NFTs. NFT. What the hell is an NFT? NFTs, Vinny. NFTs are the new craze. Okay, these are these are the new thing the kids are talking about. Remember 2017 with Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's still around. Yeah, it went crazy, died, then it came back up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was right. EVs this whole last year. Any company that mentioned they now make electric cars. Yeah. We're just like. Yeah, exactly. Stay tuned for Two Super Guys Make an Electric Car. That's our other channel we're going to launch. <laughs> our stock just went up. If it was like four months ago. Now they're crashing. But... Yeah, exactly. All right. All right. So. We're going to go over everything you need to know, and uh, we're going to try to make it quick and sweet, and uh, some of the ridiculous sales that have been happening, and how to take advantage of that current mania. Yeah, I don't recognize a single one of these. Uh, uh, you wouldn't. Not no. yours. Not no. your thing. So, an NFT, or a non-fungible token, it's a unique digital token in um, for digital kind of code, so art, tweets, videos, images, parts of songs. Um, NBA Top Shot has theirs. Um, it's kind of a little bit different, but it's just all NBA video and highlights and stuff like that. Bitcoin, for instance, would not be an NFT because one Bitcoin is worth the same as the other Bitcoin. Like, there's, there's no uniqueness between the Bitcoins. Okay. Does, Does that like make sense? It's individualized, I guess. Okay. It's, it, it's individuality. So if you take 10 seconds from the Interstellar movie, you can buy a token and own inner, you know, 10 seconds of that movie if that's a sold NFT. Perfect. Okay. All Sounds right. Now, awesome. next slide. Here's here's the kicker. All right. This is where they essentially created that's something awesome. out of thin air. Awesome. You can buy the token to that Vinny. Interesting. But you still don't own the rights to it. I don't understand. You are just the only <laughs> the only one who gets to own that 10 seconds of the interstellar movie. I have a, uh, some pulled up, uh, someone bought $180,000 for this dunk. This is, this is uh, spicy spice G 13s token. All right. So he owns this little video and boom. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty cool dunk. Yeah. 180,000. So yeah. he, uh, he owns, that token, NBA owns the rights 100%, but he's the only one that gets to say, here's my token for this. You can't have it. Perfect. Does that make sense? Yeah, but can he, can he like make money with that token other than someone he, else buying that token? He can resell it for a higher price. Oh, so it's just like a custom Bitcoin then. It's like if Pokemon cards, if there was only, you know, one Pokemon or something like that. You can try to sell it, you know, based on supply and demand. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. So I did NBA... Pokemon cards because your favorite boy sold trading cards. We're going to get to that in a second. You don't know who that is. Sounds, sounds great. <laughs> okay. So other notable sales. Um, there's this digital artist called Beeple. Basically sold all of his works for $70 million. Um, worked out pretty well. Jack Dorsey is selling his digital token for his first tweet. Currently bid at $25 million. The auction ends tomorrow. Perfect. That's There's an awesome. animated meme. What? That that's, uh, sounds like a great deal. I, I mean, $2.5 million to own a digital token of a tweet? Yeah. Come I mean, on, man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not did, your tweet, though. You still do they make right. like, digital tokens of digital tokens of digital tokens? Like that, That's what I really want to know. I'm not going to say that you can't as of this, because this industry was essentially created out of thin air. Perfect. So, <laughs> they didn't add to create anything. So there's like a meme that sold for like 600K. Your boy, Rob Gronkowski, who everyone, you know, says is this, you know, stupid guy who is financially killing it. Yeah. Made trading cards for this, made 2 million off the bat. Nice. First go around. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of them. So, and then, um, oh, this is what I was saying. Uh, bands can sell, you know, like the chorus to one of the songs and now you own that token and they made $2 million. So that's going to be fairly interesting here. Let's go to the uh, next slide. 
So how does uh, how does crypto enter into this fun stuff, right? So NFTs are bought using Ether or other forms of payment. NBA Top Shot's a little bit different, but they're recorded using the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, it almost acts as like a public record or kind of like a, like a public ledger, showing that each digital token is unique. So Ethereum is kind of also all the way at the heart of this. Okay, hmm. well, it shows that they're authentic and also shows who owns it. So we kind of uh, went over this. You can buy the token, but you don't own LeBron's dunk. <laughs> the NBA does. <laughs> I know. Don't don't think about it too yeah. hard. No, no, apparently not. I can't license it to the NBA. Like that'd be cool if I could get a revenue stream out of it. You know? <laughs> no, no, it's purely just. And also, you can't hold it. Yeah. You have to go to a website. <laughs> it's yours though. Sure. Uh, yeah. And then, so, you know, the band still owns, Kings of Leon still owns the 10 second audio clip, but you're the only one that gets to say it's your token. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Next dish. <laughs> so how do we take advantage of this hype? So this whole last week, these stocks have been crazy. TCAT on like uh, Thursday was halted four times in both directions, both directions. It was halted. Nice. Went to 40, went to like 26, went back to 40, down to it's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so wow. this is all pure speculation. There's not actually like a place that's actually working for like a new multimedia platform for this, but TCAT has a fine art marketplace platform in Asia that could possibly utilize it. Okay. JFIN, they're not in any way having to do with this, but they made Reddit. And they said that they may pivot. Perfect. So they're actually an individual low marketplace. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, OCG, previous, you know, sales, digital arts, collectibles, maybe able to pivot to NFTs. Zkin did announce a new NFT platform. Here's my favorite one. YVR. They signed a distribution deal with Atari, who then later announced a partnership with Bondly who has access to video game stuff, who then Reddit said, maybe they can make video game NFTs. Wow. That's it. That's the whole, and this, the stock skyrockets. Is this just like, like you knew a guy that like knew a guy that said like, this was a good deal, basically. Like that, that's the kind of information we're moving on there. No judging. This is how <laughs> we make money. Yeah, yeah exactly. So there's, there's, some, yeah. there's some other ones. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I, I, I love it. It's going to be entertaining to watch at least that that's, that's for sure. <laughs> I was, I was watching this trade, uh, Friday. And at one point the spread with the bid was like 26 and the ask was $33. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it. And then it got halted immediately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, doesn't have to make sense. Here's a, a good example. Have you ever heard of the Long Island Iced Tea Company? I've heard of the drink. I don't know. Do they have anything to do with the drink? Well, a little bit. There's a couple okay. different drinks. Well, they're sure. also out of business now. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so they were worth like, uh, I think it might be actually be Long Island Iced Tea Brewing Company. Okay. I can't remember. But they had a cap of $24 million, Huge company. Right? Yeah. Garage. Yeah. 1221, they announced, hey, we're not going to do iced tea. We're actually going to be a blockchain company during that whole craze, right? Okay. Stock goes up 200% the next day. Nice. Right? Yeah. Iced tea blockchain makes good sense. Why not? Yeah. Hit the click one more time. So obviously, <laughs> they never actually became operational and failed to give out financial statements and went out of business like two years later. Nice. At no point there's their chart after announcing they just said the word blockchain. Yeah. I and it went it. insane. It was fun times. I, I mean I stood away from it, but it was entertaining. Exactly. But now we're early enough, Finney. It's still maybe, early. Maybe. Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kodak. So this is important. This is my weekly chart. The daily was too far back. So I just so this is actually over the course of a month, the you know. Yeah. But they went from two dollars to what thirteen? Yeah. Have Once they announced an NFT product yet? They have not. That is my prediction, actually, because oh. this is the only way they stay in business. 
Yeah. And we'll I see. Mean, that my Polaroid camera is not doing too well. <laughs> yeah. That third blockbuster. Yeah. Kodak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that so, was cool this one's a little bit more involved, right? Because there was a crazy short float against it, and there was also some loans with like Donald Trump saying, you know, so they didn't just say the word vaccine, mm -hmm. but they basically just said the word vaccine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It went from <laughs> ten to what? What is that? Sixty-four. Yeah, yeah, that's a solid deal. Great day. Yeah, I mean, solid I day. I personally received uh, the Kodak vaccine. It's working fantastically. Is it? Yeah, it actually was manufactured by Pfizer, but you know, I, I'll, I'll give okay, some credit. Perfect. For it. <laughs> Feels better though. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to be the last one to buy because I can't tell the future, but I think that this is crap. I don't know how people are why are they buying this. If someone bought a token to my favorite movie, Interstellar, I'm not gonna be like, well, I can't watch that. Ten seconds. If anything, I'd watch that longer. Yeah. I'd be like, why did you spend money on this? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, be careful. Search Wall Street bets and stock twits. Um, pretty much everything is speculation right now. Like at all of it. Yeah. So yeah. if you wouldn't walk into a casino and put this amount of money that on down on like 32 on a roulette wheel, you that's should not rule. be putting it on the stock. Yeah, that's a great rule. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't do 32. I'd do like red or black. Sure. But that's actually a little bit more money. Odds. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more money. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. But I will say this. If Kodak says the word NFT in the next two weeks, I'm throwing $10,000 on the stock. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's happened two other times. It'll happen again. Yeah, so good. at some point, some company, maybe not any of the ones we listed because they're the ones going crazy right now. Someone may have a legitimate marketplace or a way to produce revenue off of this. And that's when you got to jump in early and don't be greedy. Take 100% gain is awesome. Take it, leave. I don't care yeah. if it goes up 1,000. Exactly. Just leave. Same casino rule applies. You go to the buffet, you get yourself a nice prime rib, and then that's and call it a day. <laughs> that also works. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, those are just the socks again. Uh, yeah. Nice. I will say watching T-Cat was absolutely absurd. <laughs> just like X here. Yeah, it's insane. Sure. sure. Marky doesn't know how to price things like this. I mean, it's... Yes, it's interesting in some way. Like someone could turn this into something kind of cool. Like uh, I saw a picture of one of the one of the arts from that Beeple guy, and I thought it was kind of cool. But his um, was cool, actually. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Would I pay seven hundred thousand dollars for it? No. Uh, Seventy million, Vinny. Uh, well, it's million. Million total. I think single piece was like almost eight hundred thousand. Yeah, Seventy million total. Yeah. Um. So just I'll just go over these quickly. Here's Jay Finn. You know, on March eighteenth, just. Crazy. Here's a T cat. Just I don't even know how to respond. They were at two dollars. <laughs> they hit forty two. And honestly, they did pre solid here and held their own, so they could have a hole in their leg. Here's OCG, kind of a lesser scale but more healthy. <laughs> if any of this is healthy, and here's <laughs> yeah. going up here. Yeah. Healthy so, um, models. <laughs> Wait, where's my favorite one? YBR. This is just a hundred percent speculation. It's just they could do it, and they just—I don't even know. I love it. Yeah. So that's it. So I got. Yeah. yeah hey, thanks for filling us in on that. Like I, I had heard a little bit about it, but I was kind of curious. Like uh, you know, you follow that sort of like trend stuff a little bit more than I do, so that's interesting. <laughs> even when I was reading about this, I just I I can't. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why people are buying it. It yeah. reminds me of that Billy Madison quote where it's like, everyone is now dumber for having to hear you speak. <laughs> I'm reading these articles. I'm like, dude, why are you spending so much money on this? No. You, you ever heard the story like Tulip Mania way back in the day? Uh, um, yeah, and yeah. Dan, Danish Tulip Mania, right? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly yeah. what this reminds me of. You know, it's like, yeah, the flowers are pretty, but like, I don't know how much they're worth. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they go up like a gross percentage? What? Uh, that was like, a long time ago, right? Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely insane. The um, the there's there's a 
it, it, I can't remember the exact time period, but like uh, the move was dramatic. You know, like one bulb was worth more than a house, basically, at one point. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, oddly reminiscent of that to me. Oh, it was in 1637. Perfect. So just uh, around the corner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, history repeats itself, right? There it um, is right now. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thanks for filling us in on that. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Two Stupid Guys Trade Stocks again. Uh, Have a good one. Yeah, good luck. Stay green. <laughs>